So this uh, stage production, chatting, tell us about your character. What do I think? I think it's just a, a symbolic character. You know, it helps to bring the balance in our everyday lives. You know, something very, very bad has happened in Shattered, and rather than look at science around, you know, get to know what the real problem is. I just think, oh God, 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 Jesus. Um, you know, we go to pray to, to, to Allah, we go to Ogo, we go to whoever it is we go to. But sometimes it's about going there. But then this pastor comes in and, and sometimes you don't, you, you don't see what they say they see. Sometimes they see, but yeah, not seeing, you know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Is it a classic case of the pastor telling people what they want to hear? You know, but sometimes that's what it is. You know, you go to you go to a pharmacist and you say, I have a, I have a headache, but I think I have malaria. So he's giving you paracetamol because you want something more. He tells you, okay, just take take an um, antacid. Okay, but if anything happens, come back. And because that's what you want to hear. You want to hear that someone is treating you over there. So he comes to this house and he sees, he doesn't even ask questions. He just comes and starts the whole prayer session. And he sees, he sees one vision on the other. He says he has a message for her. Like that, you know. I'm quite uncomfortable about that kind of mentality. But it happens in our society every, every blessing. So, how, what's the, what was the most challenging part of? Of playing, you know, the pastor. Um, you know, what was the most difficult part of playing that role? It's playing the pastor. Mm. That's it. That the most difficult part of playing the pastor is playing the pastor. You know, you, you, you really don't know. You really don't know their mindset until you try to be like them. You know, sometimes I ask myself, um, why they act the way they do? Why they come to say, oh. I hear God say to you, you know, you are healed in your bones, you are healed. When you know your heart, someone is saying that to you, I know your heart that there is nothing wrong with you. As someone is saying, I, 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 I see God telling me that you have a very crazy headache. The headache is living now. Yes, you need to put your hand on your head. Yes, 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 the other hand on your chest. And you know in your in your heart, I mean you can tell that there is nothing wrong with you. With you, you know, and, but you don't know how these pastors feel when they say it's it's it's, it's difficult getting yourself in because this is this act. So getting yourself in, into it, getting to know how they talk, why you talk the way they talk, you know, what they see, why they talk, when they see what they see, you know. Did you did you talk to any any pastors? Uh, did you? No, talking to them is dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did a lot. Of, I did actually. I did a lot of observation. Uh, I observed from a uh, researcher forward to Chris Okoti. Oh, your name dropping now. Are, they, are those your favorite pastors? No, 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 no. I just. I was looking. I was looking for. Um, I was looking for one person, and I, I, I felt because I've been performing in front of. Um, um, a diverse crowd. A diverse crowd. I, I felt somewhat popular. Or if you see something that says, oh, this thing looks like that pastor, this thing looks like that man of God, you know, yeah. So are we going to be seeing some of those mannerisms somewhere? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right.